Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. Today we are going to make a motion sensor activated light switch using a 5 volt relay, a PIR motion sensor, and an Arduino Nano. Solder them to a PCB, then make a custom box or use a container as housing for the components. If you have watched my previous video called Arduino Project Number 8, you will know that I have mentioned this one. This was actually the one I used for the motion activated 12 volt RGB LED strip and additional holiday lights. I just use a light bulb here, but it's basically just the same. Let's go! Okay, so, I don't know what got into me but I have decided not to record the wire connection phase of this project during the recording of this video, which was last year. Don't worry though, the link for the diagram together with the code and other good stuff will be at the description down below. This is the breadboard and initial testing phase. You will see that I have already connected the PIR motion sensor, relay, and Arduino to each other. Also, the resistor, transistor, and diode below are irrelevant. I was just trying something out before I have decided to record. The relay is currently activated because I am still at the front of the sensor and when I go outside, it will deactivate. Just like that. Then reactivate again when I return. Here I have already connected the extension cord which will be used to power our light bulb that is connected to the relay later. The diagram or instruction on how to do this will also be at the link in the description below. Here is the light bulb and another extension cord with the light bulb socket. Okay, let's plug in the light bulb to the relay. Then plug in the relay onto the main power source. Power up the Arduino. Hmm, the relay is activated but the bulb did not turn on. Why? It's because I have connected one of the wires to the wrong terminal on the relay. Oopsie! Now I have to change it and connect the other wire to the normally open terminal. Just like that. Alright, let's try it again. Plug in the Arduino. It's taking a while to activate. And there you go. Now, I will go outside. Let's try the time. I clapped at around 4.58 so that I can see on the video when is the exact moment I left the room and find out the duration before the sensor signals the Arduino to turn off the relay. I have set the sensor here to turn off the light when it's not detecting anything for approximately 1 minute. Went back inside the room at around 5.08 to turn off the main lights for me to see if the light bulb is off. So the duration restarted and we will count how many seconds will pass before the light bulb goes off. So the bulb went off at around 640. 640 minus 508 is 1 minute 32 seconds. A little more than a minute but it's okay, we can adjust it later. Now I will go back inside and see if the light bulb will turn on again. There you go, it's working fine. Now I'm going to adjust the timer to make the on state duration less. Okay, let's see how many seconds it would take to deactivate it. Started at around 0003. Around 20 seconds. Not bad. After that, let's make the layout. So this one will be attached here. And this one will be about right here. Like this. Now, we need to mark it for cutting later. Just like this. Alright, so here are the things that we need. 
a PIR motion sensor, this is set on repeatable trigger. And here are the current configuration of the delay and range or sensitivity knobs. You can find some helpful links on the description below. A 5 volt DC relay, I have added some standoffs on this, some female headers, anti-static tweezers if you have one, and Arduino Nano. The prototype PCB that we have marked earlier, it's gonna look like this when we're done. Some jumper cables, the data and power cable for the Arduino of course, some heat shrink tubing, an extra extension cord, a Phillips head screwdriver, wire stripper, some cutter, and some of these things. Okay, I have already cut the PCB to my desired shape. I used the Dremel for this, you can use other cutting tools if you want. Just finish drilling holes for the standoffs. After cutting and drilling, let's see if they will fit. Perfect! Just finished soldering the pin headers to the board. Here I have marked the locations of where I would solder the jumper wires for the relay and PIR sensor. After finishing an awful soldering job, This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life! Oh, get it away from me, man! Here they are, all connected to the board. The wiring job is also done. Now we only have to test it again, then install it inside our box or container. Okay, I'm going to use this cheese container. This is like the one I used for my 2-in-1 power and toggle switch which you can find right here. Now, we just need to do some cutting to make holes for the PIR sensor, Arduino data cable, and extension cord for the relay. Alrighty, this is what it would look like inside. Need to make a hole here and here. The PIR sensor is right here. The cutout for the sensor is also done. And just use a double-sided tape at the top or lead for installation on the ceiling. Okay, now for another test. Alright. Just finished making the cutouts for the extension and data cable. I used a torch light and a blade for cutting. Now, I'm going to use hot glue to install all of the components inside the box. Also added some stickers to make it more aesthetically pleasing. Okay, this one is done. And these guys are done too. Now we need to install the extension cord cables onto the relay. Just like that, make sure it's secured. Okay, let's uh, cover it up. This video is sponsored by Eden Cheese. No, not really. I'm planning on adding some double-sided tape on the lid when I mount it on the ceiling, but I have decided to use a staple gun instead. So, here is the code. As you can see here, this one was made on December 19 last year. I got the bulk of this code from this website. there. I suggest that you check it out too. It's pretty informative.
I just added some codes for the relay and that's it. Thanks for watching and see you again next week.